as the men go, you're in better shape than most. You seem to take really good care of yourself. I like that. Yeah. I like that That's a lot. no slam on Cheadle. Uh, but <laughs> I'm just saying, you. It, it seems like you, uh, what are you, are you working out like crazy? What kind of stuff are you doing? You know, I do do, um, twice a year I do a triathlon. Oh, you're a triathlon guy. Well, I mean, it's not like the Ironman. It's like the classic distance, which is uh, half mile swim, 19 mile bike, and four mile run. I do this Nautica. Um, triathlon. It's a great event. It, it benefits a children's pa pediatric hospital, cancer hospital here. Um, I raise millions of dollars and I do it twice a year and the first time I did it was, it didn't go well. Right. Well, so I've, here's what I've always thought. I've always thought, because people have said to me, you know, clearly I work out as well. And <laughs> I have worked out <laughs> twice. The point being that I always thought when it came to uh, something like a, a triathlon that I thought, okay, I, could, I, I love to bike, so I could do the biking, and I can run, but the swimming is, always feels like that's the, yes. that's the deal breaker for me. Yes. Because it's yes. crazy, isn't it? It's a lot of swimming. You're smarter than I. They start with the swim for a reason. I thought, I can bike, I can run. The swim, I know how to swim. I went to a pool and did a, did a few laps. I'll be fine. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake. So what was, what was wrong? I think you, you, if you can swim and you did some laps, what's the problem? Just wholly unprepared. I, I, I got there, all these triathletes, and it's exciting. First of all, it's at 7 in the morning. I don't do anything at 7 in the morning, especially <laughs> jump in the ocean. Right. So they sh shoot the gun off, and we run down, and it's exciting, and everyone's so serious. And I dive into the water, and immediately I realize my big mistake is I've been training in a pool that's 80 degrees. <laughs> oh. And what's the water? It was 56 on that day. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yes, and I, <laughs> I went into the water, and it felt like someone hit me with a taser. Right. Like, all the oxygen in my body went out, and I came up, like, not... Everybody came up swimming. I came up like this. <laughs> Just da, 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 dog pa paddling <laughs> the, the whole time. And people kicking me in the face. And I was like disoriented. Didn't know what I was doing. And yeah. there's, there's these three buoys I saw from the beach that you swim out to one and then around the others. And it took me so long just to get out to the first buoy. And I was like, I can't catch my, my, my breath. <laughs> Why did you become Southern, too? That's what I'm curious about. <laughs> Can't catch my breath. <laughs> I don't know. Something about know. when your oxygen leaves your body. Yeah, you become southern. Yeah. You do. You so, do. so what did you do? I mean, you 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 just got out of it. Well, you give I up? finally made it to to like where where you come around the first buoy, and I realized how far the buoys were. I was I couldn't believe it. I was like, I'm in big trouble. So I I thought I better just put my head down and get after this, even though I'm so cold. And I try, and I'd be like, I can't. I'm too cold. And then I just started swimming. I got about. Two, two minutes of freestyle when I looked up, I was like, where is it? I realized I'd been swimming basically out to Hawaii. Really? Yeah. So now you're away from the buoys. Totally and disoriented. And running out of oxygen. Yes, yes. And, and, and when you run or bike, if you stop, you can just, oh, take a, take a breath. When you swim, you can't. Right. <laughs> You'll drown. Right. Um, finally, I basically just doggy paddled the entire thing. Right. And got, got in, and I remember a guy looked at me when I was getting out of the water, he goes, dude, you're, you're gray. I thought you'd be blue if you were in that. I no. guess, there's, I think after blue is gray, yes, probably. Yes, which is, yes, gray is worse than blue. But you did finish, that's the important thing. Like, to me, it's all about, if you're finished, then you've earned your stripes. Right? I did, but um, <laughs> as my friend looked up our times, he pointed out that in the swim, I got beat by two minutes by Terry Hatcher. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and six minutes by Betty White. <laughs> <laughs>